you, all, you have a danger not only to the employees but to the persons who are being kept in there. And that's a very unfortunate group from the point of view that they suffer from me mental illnesses. And um, we would like to see that they are treated as human beings and not, you know, the rejects of the society. I think this is a case of a politi an, uh, an, an agenda being pushed on the people, unfortunately on the nurses, because as you said, anyone would recognize that Golden Hope is not a new institution. And the problem started long before this administration came into office. It always makes me smile a little bit when I come here because solutions have the strangest way of naming programs and naming places. This is the Golden Hope. And if you say it properly, it is a Golden Hope. The place where you have the best expectations of getting better. We do these things almost in comedy because it was never the Golden Hope. In fact, the Golden Hope was probably the scariest place you could go to and you never wanted to get labeled as being a Golden Hope um, graduate. Um, but the building actually is an incredible ruin. We thought it would be really interesting to do a flight to see um, what it looked like right now. In the, the, the roof at Golden Hope, it has this, these peaks and troughs. So where the leak was coming in the V, and this is almost in the center of the hall of the room where there's no electricals in the center. In my tech move the people. It's just like you have your home, and there's a uh, there's a hole in the in the in the roof, rains coming through. You just move the bed on the other side, and that is all. If they did that, he told me that they would not the people the rain would not affect them.